Hello everybody, Chris Prescott here with Master CDP Studios, bringing you a tutorial inside now Studio One 4.1. And in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to quickly create and store an effects chain. Let's say you have an effects bus, you ran your vocal uh, track, and you sent it to an effects bus, and you you have an FX chain that you liked. You, s you entered all the parameters and the values to get the sound that you were looking for for your vocal track. So what you're gonna do, I'm gonna bring up the, uh, the preset that I already saved. So this was a, an FX chain that I saved for the purpose of this video. So I'm gonna show you what it sounds like. Hello, testing, one, two. So let's say you have a project and you have an FX bus and you loaded it with some plugins and you're sending a track to that uh, FX bus and you found the perfect chain for whatever sound that you were looking for and you like the way it sounds and you want to use that FX chain on uh, future projects and you want to insert them on an FX bus or even instru insert them on an instrument. So this is what you do. Let's pretend this FX bus right here was the plugins that you selected and you you created this chain and now you want to save it so you can use it on future projects. So what you're going to do is you're going to hit the drop down menu on the insert tab. You're going to go down here, store effects chain. So let's call it effects chain 3. Okay. So you saved it and now you open a new project and you want to create an effects bus and you want to insert that effects chain onto that effects bus. So you're simply just going to pick the effects chain that you, uh, the name of the effects bus uh, that you stored it under, and you have it available in all your projects, just like that. So let's say you want to do the same thing for an instrument track, but instead of sending the uh, signal from the instrument track to an effects bus, you want to insert that effects chain on an instrument. Well, you're going to do the same thing. You're just going to bring down the drop down menu in the uh, insert tab. And now you can hear my organ has that reverb and delay on it. And let's say now for a future project, you like the way that instrument sound with that effects chain already loaded on it. So what you can actually do is save the preset uh, with the instrument. And how you do that is you would bring up the instrument window just like that and you would click this tab and you would store instrument plus effects preset. So take a look over here where my mouse cursor is. Once I hit okay, it's gonna store that preset under the instrument file. And just like that, it's right there. So anytime if I start a new project and I like the way that instrument sounded with the, um, with the effects chain that I had on it, now that instrument is stored with the effects presets. So anytime I bring this organ up onto a new track uh, or in a new project, it's going to be loaded with those effects, uh, with the effects chain that I had saved originally. So that's how you would do that. That should increase your the speed of your workflow because, like I said, if you're like me, you experiment with plugins, and sometimes it takes a while to find that perfect effects chain for whatever sound you're looking for. And then once you found it, you want to save it so you can use it on future projects. That's how you would do that. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Hope it was uh, pretty uh, simple. And uh, if you guys want to see any other tutorials inside Studio One, just let me know in the comments section below. And I'll try to do my best to roll out more of these tutorials because it seems like uh, they are helping a lot of people. I am getting a lot of good positive feedback for these tutorials. So I hope to do more for you guys. But uh, once again, this is Chris with Master CDP Studios. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Stick around.